Well, the Alouette River Management Society started in the early 90s as a result of low water flows on the Alouette. Our work with BC Corrections uh, is fundamentally around the hatchery. They provide the, uh, the labor, the expertise, and we provide administrative support. There's uh, a number of different uh, salmon species that are raised here and released back, not only on, on, at this site, but in other areas along the river and other parts of the community. We muster the inmates at the jail in the morning. Uh, we come down to Alco Hatchery to start our day. One of the benefits for inmates at Alco Hatchery is the daily routine, having something to be responsible for. Some of them don't have the opportunity on the outside to have these kind of responsibilities, and that's very rewarding for the inmates. The department will define how many chum, how many Chinook, how many coho we would like this facility to, to grow. We would sometimes help uh, with corrections to apply for grants to make improvements to the facility that you see here today have largely been done uh, from funding acquired from external sources. I've worked here for 25 years at the hatchery, 28 years indirectly. We teach the inmates basically how to rear fish. We want to restock the river and we take them from catching brood stock in the river uh, to taking the eggs, fertilizing them, how to raise a healthy fish, how to rear them and then release back into the river. The inmates are here between six and seven hours a day, uh, 365 days a year, and that's why the inmates enjoy it so much. They're away from the jail, and it gives them something productive to do. From 1983 to the present, we have stocked 1.9 million fish out of this facility. That represents 134,000 kilos of fish that this hatchery has produced. Seeing sockeye back in the river has been one of my goals from when I started. What I'm most proud of is to see that how the rivers come back to life and the inmates are a big part of that. I'm most proud of the, uh, the people we get to work with, not only from our partners in the various government ministries, but just the volunteers, the people that are concerned about the river. And they're, I think it's just a wonderful opportunity to be able to work with those people and with agencies that are committed, like Corrections, to see the work get done.